Okay, so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we've got a really exciting video for you all. I'm going to be doing quite a different one for me. It's testing She Glam, which is a makeup brand. And I used to do makeup videos all the time on my channel. And then I just kind of stopped. I just don't really do them now. And I really wanted to give She Glam a good go. I've tried some of their products in the past that I've actually, you know, bought myself. My sister uses their products. And they kindly reached out to me and I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. I want to try some more products. So thank you so much to She Glam for working with me on this video. It means the world. And thank you guys for watching and supporting me because that obviously means even more. And I am so excited. So it's a full face. I am truly buzzing. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And yeah, so let's just get started also let me know know down below if you've ever tried them before because i'm intrigued oh, also my room's so bare as it's being redone well kind of redone but let's put this on right so i actually have a few different foundations obviously i can't use all of them in this video but i'm going to show you them so they have this one which is called complexion pro long lasting breathable matte foundation and they sent me these in the shade nude and wheat i will show you the packaging because it's actually so nice like for the price it's got a nice little velvet bag which is nice and matte a little top i really like it it's so nice i've all i've really like opened everything and had a look i haven't tried anything yet though like at all because i wanted to you know give my honest opinions and so i got that and then i got this one skin skin finit hydrating foundation in the shade butterscotch i think this is the one i'm going to try today this one has a little bag as well and this is this one mm, that might be too dark for me but we will see and then they also sent me this one, which is really cool. It's called the Skin Focus High Coverage Powder Foundation. I've never used a powder foundation. Or maybe I should use this one then. But this packaging is so cute. And look, you get a little guide, which I think is such a nice touch if you don't know how to use it. Look, I think that's so good. Packaging is so cute. Look, are you ready for this? look it's just really like sleek and nice and this is what it looks like oh i don't know which one to use i'm i'm scared i'm scared <laughs> oh my god right so we're gonna start with foundation once i've had a little think about which one i want to try first so i'm gonna go with the skin finit um hydrating foundation and i am excited as you can tell i've got a mirror over there so if i'm looking in the mirror i'm so sorry but how should I do this? I might just like, I don't know. How should I do it? Oh, I don't know. Cause I don't know if it's gonna be too dark. Nah, it'd be fine, I hope. Right, I'm just gonna like do that. And then just go straight in with it. Oh. Okay. Nice, right, it's got good blendability. I'll say that right now. It's actually such good coverage. Like, I don't know if you can tell. But wow, we I'm impressed already. Like, look. Also, one thing I can't stand about some foundations is that they have a really funny smell. And this one doesn't. So that's <laughs> really, really good. Because that is probably my biggest pet peeve ever with things going on my face. Right, so obviously it's a tiny bit too dark for me, but keep that in mind because you are shade matching online, obviously. But it should be alright when the whole face is done. It is really good coverage. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I feel like you can tell. I've actually come straight in front of the mirror so you can see more because I feel like it wasn't really, you know, showing you properly. But yeah, if we ignore the shade, look, like it's such good coverage. I am super impressed with that. Oh, okay, next up we have a concealer to try. 
This is called Complexion Boost Concealer in shade Buttercream. I really do like their packaging, especially for such an affordable makeup brand. It's really good. Cute, I like it. Right, oh, okay. <gasps> right, so you kind of just like... Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Cute, oh, this is nice shade because it's gonna lighten my face up a bit to match my actual tone more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use the same foundation brush because <laughs> I don't have a beauty blender or anything because I don't usually use one. Yes, that is good. Look how nice and bright that is compared to the other side. Oh, yeah, I'm super duper duper impressed. I feel like you all can tell. Let's do the other side. I am loving this so far. Oh, I love it. Right, moving on. Next up, we have powder. I'm not sure what the difference is. They're both called Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. Oh, one's in translucent and one's in bubblegum. Oh, maybe they're hopping on like the pink under eye trend. That's what I'm thinking. I'll probably just go with translucent, to be honest. Let's have a little look. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. Look how nice the packaging is. I'm so impressed. <gasps> okay. Right, I will probably open the translucent one and use that one instead just because I know what translucent is. So, here is the translucent one. Oh, I wonder how this works. Okay, oh, right, that's actually so cool. You have the pressed powder in the top, and then you unscrew it and you get the loose powder. That is actually really, really cool. Sorry, you can tell I don't really do makeup much, but wow, I'm impressed. I will probably just like set myself with it. So I'm going to do my under eyes with it and see what it's saying, to be honest. I'm just gonna put on as much as I want. Right, now we've got that on. And I'm just gonna quickly use that translucent powder to do that. Right, now I'm gonna use contour. So I've got the Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour, one in shade Soft Tan and one in shade Warm Honey. And I'm really excited, as you can tell. I literally haven't used, like tried out any new makeup in like forever well not a full face of any brand in years oh that's nice wow i love it that is so pretty so this is the one in warm honey let's have a little look oh this is unique i love the applicator wow so that's that shade and then soft tan so this one is more of a grey tone which actually is quite good because not a lot of brands do that so I'm quite impressed by that I think I am going to use warm honey just because I prefer the tone of it more I'm actually really nervous to try it because I've, I don't remember the last time I tried cream contour but we're just going to go for it right that's all I'm putting on for now because I'm so scared let's try blend it It is so good, but I would definitely put less on than I did. I'm not gonna lie. So let's try it the other side with just a little tiny bit. Yes. It does look a lot lighter in real life. Let me assure you that now. <laughs> Do the forehead. I must say, it blends out really nicely. I'm so impressed. Oh my God, I'm happy as Larry. I'm a little bit nervous to try it on my nose, I'm not gonna lie. What I'm gonna do is get my little nose contour brush and I'm literally gonna like do the tiniest dab on it. 
like that. Right, I blended it all out and oh my god, look. I am so impressed so far. Like honestly, it blended so well. As you can see, I'm so happy. Ah, I'm so, so happy. Right, next up we've got cream blusher. So we've got the Colour Bloom Liquid Blush in shades Love Cake and Petal Talk. Ah, oh, that's so cute. I'm going to show you the colours of both of them. So the first thing I noticed is they smell so nice. They smell like, like cookies or something. Oh my god, I could eat that. <laughs> right, so the darker shade is Love Cake and the brighter shade is petal talk i love them names i think i'm gonna use the darker shade just because i prefer it to be honest a bit nervous because obviously it was very pigmented the contour but i'm not too nervous because it did blend out should i just do that much i'm scared <gasps> oh my god guys how cute look I love it. it the stuff blends out so well and yeah it's just proper like creamy and nice look my skin looks good I'm not even lying For someone that suffers with acne I'm super impressed next up we've got a highlighter to try very cool this is called the lunar glow highlighter um is it in a shade or is it just one color oh interesting oh my god this is so cool guys look it's like a ufo and then that says balding so you open it like that oh my god okay i love that sorry i'm impressed wow so i just do highlighter like on my nose and the corner of my eyes because i don't like doing it on the side of my face but i always use the end of an eyelash spoolie please don't judge bit weird i know but we're gonna try it out oh pretty wow look at that in a corner i'm actually so impressed wow let's put a little bit more on the end of the nose <gasps> i love it it's proper like creamy for a powder product which i love so it's getting a 10 out of 10 from me. Oh god, I feel so pretty. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. So next up is eyeshadow. I'm not actually going to do any eyeshadow, but I will swatch all of the colours for you. But it's because I genuinely don't do, ever do eyeshadow and I don't have any brushes. But first of all, I'm going to show you the Vinyl Pop Colour Palette. How cute. I love it. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look. I'm not even joking, it actually spins. Look! Oh my god, I am already obsessed and I haven't even opened it yet. Right, oh! We've got. Oh! Oh, okay. It's a nice neutral brown palette. Got a big old mirror as well that comes with a little. Oh, is it just me that loves peeling these off? Let me have a little peel. Oh, yeah. So we've got a shimmer in there as well, which is exciting. Um, and I think that is that like lipstick. I can't tell. Is it? Should we put it on? I think it's just lip balm. But I'm gonna quickly swatch these for you. What I'm gonna do first? I'll probably swatch them on my arm. I'm gonna just right. So we'll start with this one they feel very soft and buttery which is a good start oh right you can't really tell because it's obviously very light of a color so we'll move on to the next one wow there's a lot of pigment in there guys i'm telling you that oh, this one's a bright one nice okay so this one the red does feel a bit chalky but actually oh now i've blended it that is all good. They are so pigmented. Like, trust me. Oh, the shimmer. I'm really excited for the shimmer one. <gasps> wow, wee. 
look how pretty and then I think that black one is yeah the black one's eyeliner and then we've got two little brown shades down there I won't swatch them so it don't get too boring for you all but wow I'm so impressed now we can do our next palette that's called Jazzy Jigsaw eyeshadow palette oh okay very nice love and taupe little jigsaw this one is so cute look proper little jigsaw i love their packaging and the inside these are the shades i won't swatch all of them because it's pretty similar but i'm just going to show you all my fingers wow i want to show you the shimmer shades look I'll show you a matte as well, I'll treat you the pigment I feel like they could be a bit chalky but that doesn't really bother me for the price to be honest, I really like it now we're going to be testing the brows on demand 2 in 1 brow pencil, I never fill my brows in but why not give it a go so it looks like this, it's in the shade Auburn and one side is a just normal brow pencil, the bottom one and then the other side is like, I don't really understand to be honest but it's nice, like hang on, can you see that? I'm going to use the pencil part, um, yeah I mean I never fill in my eyebrows, this could go seriously wrong. <laughs> Literally the last time I filled in my eyebrows was probably about four years ago. Oh, have I ruined it already? Also, please ignore that massive bruise on my head. Um, I have fell over on New Year's. So, I'm not going to lie, I don't know much about brow pencils. So, I I mean, a brow pencil to me is just pretty basic and it's, it's a good one, in my opinion, but... Yeah, anyway, now we're going to do eyeliner. So this is the Pro Precision Waterproof Liquid Liner. Oh, okay. Right, let's see. Nice and sleek yet again. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now that is fine. I like it. Oh, very black as well. Look at that. Right, I haven't done eyeliner in a while, so please don't laugh at me if it goes wrong. I'm scared. Right, I'm just gonna try and do it on camera, but don't laugh. Oh, okay, I'm impressed. I have got a tendency to have a shaky hand. I'm quite impressed with myself there. This is a really good eyeliner. Like, I'm not even just saying that. I'm impressed. I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'll be back. Now I've done my eyeliner, I'm gonna try the mascara. This is called all in one volume and length mascara okay exciting this is what it looks like and one side is very thick very big and voluminous and then the other side is more thin finer bristles i don't know which one you're meant to use first to be honest does it say no oh well right i'm gonna quickly curl my lashes right i think i'm gonna go in with the thinner one first i'm gonna do it on one eye first because then you can see the comparison wow already oh my god and then we're gonna go in with the thicker one. Oh my god guys look that is incredible i am so impressed i love this mascara this is going to actually be in my this is going to be my top pick mascara from now on guys i am so happy with this look and then lastly we've got some lip products to try out first of all, we've got this lipstick in shade high key it's got really cute ombre packaging let's have a little swap through so cute this looks quite dark we'll have, a little, have a little look it feels quite matte oh yeah definitely matte very nice colour not really my kind of colour I'd go for but still very nice 
And then we've got two Pout Perfect Shine Lip Plumpers. Oh, so this one's in shade Sepia Kiss. Oh, you click it and it comes up. That's so cool. Right. Let's have a little look. Oh, oh, these are very glossy, as you can see. And then we've also got one in the shade First Crush. Oh! Right, let's have a look at this one. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of me. Look. Oh, that is stunning. Right, let's put it on and have a look. Oh! Well, it's definitely lip plumping. I don't know if it's actually a lip plumper because it doesn't tingle, but it's made my lips look quite big, so... Wow! I'm impressed. So, that is the end of the finished look. I am so happy with it. Let me know what you guys think down below. I am so happy with the results. I will definitely be using lots of these items again. And thank you so much to She Glam for working with me. It was very exciting and hopefully we can work together again because I really enjoyed this. And thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And all the links will be down below, of course. Make sure you go check it out. And I can't wait to try the other foundations. I'm well excited. But yeah, I love you all so much.